Great to have you with us on News at One. The Minister of Small Business Development, Lindiwe Zulu, will today announce the first of 40 small and medium enterprises to participate in the National Gazelles program. The program focuses on SMEs with an annual turnover of between 1 and 30 million rand. They will benefit from access to funding, equipment grants, mentorship and business networking. Small business is, of course, crucial while South Africa struggles to achieve meaningful economic growth. The National Development Plan has predicted that 90% of all jobs will be created by small enterprises by 2030. Well, the Minister joins us live in studio now. Great to have you with us, uh, Thank Minister. You very much. What I like, and, and tell me if, if I'm correct, is that these businesses have already proved themselves to mm -hmm. some extent. So it's not uh, people coming to you with a great idea, mm -hmm. uh, but they've got a, a track record already. Absolutely. Um, when I started um, in, as a Minister of Small Business Development, it occurred to me that we need to be able to support uh, small and medium enterprises and cooperatives at different levels. You've got the entry level, which we must not ignore, because that's mm -hmm. when people are, are in the startup and starting. And then you've got the middle level that's really just trying to survive. Then you've got the top performers who, in my view, need to be assisted so that they can break off and be able to stand on their own two feet because being a small business uh, uh, means just that you mm. must be able to sustain yourself, maintain yourself. So this National Gazelles program responds specifically to those that started a long time ago. They were falling and getting up and suddenly they are able to stand on their own two feet, but they still need some bit of support. So, so this will take them to the next level, Absolutely. I, I guess. A, a rigorous um, vetting process to choose only 40, I believe uh, many wanted to be included. How did you ensure that that was, was fair? It was fair because it was not done by us as a department. Um, we had outsiders, we had auditors, Sizu and Saluba Koboto, we had KPMG, we had Ernst & Young. We went to find the people that when you say these are the people that did the selection and the criteria given to them, terms of reference and everything, these are people, these are companies that have been doing that for a, for a lo very long while. And so I think that the process was very credible and the process, the process really had to be fair. And also the process needed to take into consideration that we're talking about small and medium enterprises that have to grow. So you can't be bringing in mediocrity or you can't be bringing in people that actually don't know which direction they're going. You needed to bring in people that you're going to be proud of um, in a few years' time because it's going to be three years that we're going to be nesting them from where they are until they really break out. Because the challenge we have in South Africa is that small and medium enterprises, particularly black, particularly women-owned and youth, they struggle with too many things which, in my view, they shouldn't be struggling with. But these ones have proved that despite the struggle, they are capable of carrying themselves to the next level. And, and the majority mm. are black-owned, I understand, and yes. there is a focus on, on women-owned Yes, 65% is, is black, 30% is women, and 25% is, is, is youth. I wish for a time somewhere along the line when we won't have to be bothering with those statistics. But the fact of the matter is that if you consider where we come from and the fact that the people that we're targeting are people that were left out of economic development uh, for a very long time and they have to be competing with people that have been in that space for three, four generations. So we need to give them this uh, upliftment so that they can be able to stand on their own two feet in the future. Minister, I'd love to know your opinion because we know that funding is, is a problem. Um, and, and I've heard better stories from startups saying we, we can now access funding. Government is doing what it can. Uh, but, but there's another theory that we should rather worry about the business environment, make it really easy to start a business, to be tax compliant, to, to look at your paperwork. Are, are you focusing on both? How do you achieve Absolutely. that Absolutely. That is the mandate of the department. Our responsibility is to create a conducive environment for small and medium enterprises and cooperatives to be able to operate. But even the startups, we must make it easy. You've got in other countries where registration of a business takes a, a day and hours takes a, for a very long time. So that's the first and most important thing because are we you, measuring those things yes we have to absolutely but you can you can do all these have all the money that you want to support give them the training and all but if you don't create a conducive environment for them 
at all levels. That's why our approach is a properly coordinated approach, national, provincial, and local structures, because the regulations, for instance, don't depend on us, they depend on local structures. So as a department, we're pushing for a coordinated approach and packages that show that we're not working in silos as government. We want government and not three governments. Very, very quickly, we're running out of time, but there was a talk of overlapping in the departments, trade and industry uh, with your department. Is that now uh, correct? We, we're well? done and, and finished with that part. People must not make a mistake of thinking that because we're small and medium, enterprises we've got nothing to do with supporting each other that's why I'm talking about an intergovernmental approach to supporting SMMEs we'll continue to work with DTI we'll continue to work particularly with economic development because those they still have a lot uh, of a big role to play in ensuring that the environment is created to be conducive for SMMEs thank you for coming in uh, for My your pleasure. time that was small business uh, development minister Lindira Zulu